what's up welcome back in today's video we are taking a look at clothing boutique pop-up shop booth ideas for inspiration because I know many of you guys are getting ready to participate in your first pop-up shop or maybe some of you guys have done them in the past but you're trying to take your booth to the next level you're looking for inspiration don't worry I've got you I've done outdoor pop-up shops I've done indoor pop-up shops done them in warehouse style buildings, I've done them in event centers, I've done them on the sidewalk outside of a luxury shopping district, I've done pop-ups in a bar, I've done pop-ups in an actual retail location, or retail brick and mortar type of location, I've done them all over the place. So I've got a lot to share with you guys today. I'm sure you've already seen some of my pop-up shop videos in the past. If not, make sure you subscribe and you can check them out. For further inspiration, tips and tricks, I've got so much I can share with you guys and I've shared a lot in the past. But without further ado, let's take a look at some of my favorite booths. Okay, first up we've got this one. I love the rug and the tapestry. She's got a nice mannequin, a beautiful sign, and then two clothing racks. She also has some shelving space in the back. Overall, it's nice and cohesive. It fits the same similar color palette and it's just overall pleasing to look at. Okay, this next one, I just love the wall situation going on in the background. I believe I talked to the owner about this one and she said it was handmade. So if you've got anyone in the family who can help you out, might wanna hook them, see if they can hook you up with something like that. Um, she also has that checkout counter situation going on, which you don't see a lot of checkout counters at these type of pop-up events because it's just a lot to bring. But if you have the capacity and like maybe you have a lot of help or your husband's significant other, whoever, is just able to help you carry these types of things, then by all means it does kind of help with the overall appearance and seem really professional, but I personally never consider it a checkout counter. Um, what else? So she has some nice shelving units. Overall, it's like everything's like spaced out. I think she paid extra for a bigger booth than a lot of the other booths because you can see everything's like nice and spread out. She's not like compressed in and everything looks cluttered like mine happens to look like a lot um she also has a mirror and it's just a nice overall pleasing booth to look at this next one um she did a really great job specifically with signs so well before i get to that you can see that she has like um a curtain backdrop cloth fabric thing going on in the background with her sign over it so that's a really nice touch i feel like it's relatively easy to do um, and it does help with the overall appearance she's also got some mannequins um, she's got a mirror and she wrote on the mirror hey beautiful yes you that's kind of a nice like little touch especially if it goes around along with her branding she's got a lot of accessories and you can see that she has these signs that um list the price of the accessories and then also like qr codes like this one's join our email list i think that's such a fantastic idea um and it helps you know if shoppers if she's busy talking to another customer she the shopper doesn't have to go up to her and ask how much does this cost how much does this cost instead they can see for themselves you know with overall pricing so that's a nice touch this next booth I love the little pillars I think they're a nice touch and they can hold her sign which is kind of unique she's also got a little curtain drapery situation in the back once again a nice touch it's not just a plain wall back there um, but it's also not overly busy she's got a mirror and a nice vase with some um, pompous grass potentially she's got a an area with I guess like a shelving situation with some extra spare clothing and her sign she's got two rugs she's got a chair so if she gets tired she can sit there but the chair matches the aesthetic so overall quite nice okay with this next one there's a lot going on but it's seriously one of my favorites of all of these probably um, I think she paid for extra space as well because you can tell she's got a much larger area than some of the other booths again we see this like theme of drapery like background curtain drapery I think it's just a really easy elevated way to make your booth look 
significantly better than if you just had like the back of the vendor behind you if you just saw their booth and she can also like use it as a display wall and put signs and that's where she has her mannequins of course um, she has a lot of nice like decor around she's got a rug for the mannequins you don't always see mannequins like specifically on a rug on their own um, and then what else she's got a nice like um, I think they're called like French walls or something she's got some of her products in these boxes with sizing and then mannequins so overall great looking booth okay this booth so she typically sells swimwear but i can tell that for the winter mart that we were at she incorporated a lot of jewelry as well which was fantastic because if you don't sell a lot of swimwear resort wear in the winter adding jewelry is a great touch and I love the color palette. Um, she put her sign on the wall and she does have a mirror. Um, but yeah, I love the color palette. I feel like it fits nicely with her kind of like beachy theme. Okay, next up we have another clothing boutique. Once again, got some nice drapery in the background, like a curtain of some sort. This one's kind of more minimalist. Um, again, she's just got two clothing racks. Um, she does have a lot of clothing in there, but it's it doesn't look like overly crowded. And... She has kind of a minimal sign and potentially a seat for herself. Um, so you can tell with this particular booth, she probably didn't spend like an excessive amount of money on it, but it still looks nice. So if you're on a budget, it is still possible to create a very pleasing minimalist kind of look. Or, I mean, it's not even really minimalist, but you know what I'm saying. You can, you don't have to spend a fortune to have a pleasing booth. And then similar with this one, kind of same idea. She's got, looks like three clothing racks and a sign with current in the back, but not much else going on. And it looks pleasing. Okay, so here was one of the setups for my pop-up event outdoors. I was actually the only vendor without a tent. So if you're ever getting ready to do an outdoor event, check to see if all the other vendors are bringing their own tent or not. And you might want to consider getting your own. Here we have another vendor who has some beautiful pieces and you know she didn't really have to decorate a lot because I feel like her her clothing like decorates it speaks for itself with the vibrant colors but she does have the rug and a sign and then a little table as well as a mannequin or two looks like so again you don't always have to go over the top with the decor but it will you know, sometimes your clothing can speak for it, for itself. Another clothing store. This one, she has some accessories displayed in the back with a shelving unit, like purses, as well as some jewelry on a table. So you can find ways to incorporate both clothing, accessories, jewelry. She's got, um, I don't really know what to call it, but like a, I don't know, like a three-piece wall that I, I think they fold together I'm assuming and it's not just three separate pieces it looks that way um and it's got a number I guess her her store name is 79 I'm assuming um so you know if that's the case that's how she has her sign her store name sign which looks nice so if you're incorporating accessories as well as clothing this is a good way to do that Next, we have another store with clothing and accessories. So again, having a table in the center can look nice. Um, and as long as you have a good way to accessorize your accessories. Um, she's got a mirror so you can look in the mirror as you like maybe try on your earrings, which is a nice touch. She's got some mannequins. She's got a mannequin for her hat, shelving unit. Um, she has a rug to go under the table and a chair for sitting because you man, you get so tired at these pop-up events and you just have to sit down after six plus hours. <laughs> so yeah, I, I love this. It's kind of like sh she has kind of a darker color palette. You can tell like the, the white and black decor complements the clothing she has. It's like a lot of her clothing is a darker color and it all just kind of looks nice together. So nice job on this one 
Okay, this one, she's selling scrubs, so kind of unique for these to pop up events, not just clothes for everybody, but um, you know, hey, if your target audience is gonna be at the event, why not? So she's just got her clothing on these clothing racks, and then she's got a shelving unit for, I guess, the products. I don't know, I, I didn't really talk to her much about this one because I've never had a need to buy scrubs, but I would assume that maybe she has some styles to displayed on the clothing racks and then like you would actually take home the shelving unit ones but I don't know I guess I don't know that for sure here we have a swimwear brand and she's got a, a sale sign which is nice she's got mannequin so you can see what the swimsuit looks like you can see it's not just you know a two-piece set it's got this amazing like wrap thing going on she's got a big sign that is tropical Okay, so this was kind of a unique pop-up where we were, most of the vendors were out on the sidewalk outside of these retail stores, but they put me inside of their retail store. The event organizers had a retail store temporarily, and they had other vendors in here, but they weren't um, actually in the store that day. I was the only vendor who was actually selling my own products that day. But um, yeah, so they put me in the back, and... I'm over here in this back corner, but you can see some of the other products they were selling as well. So I just had these clothing racks. It's like you never know what you're going to get into and what your booth setup is going to look like, like the shape of it until you get there. So I just, I, you know, I didn't know what to, what to expect. So I just had really my clothing racks and then I had a chair for myself that you'll see in a second and a little uh, like nightstand that I had my um, POS system on and cards to hand out. So... Yeah, that was kind of unique. This was the same event, but they put me outside on the street a different day. So here is kind of like a preview of what my setup looked like on the street. <laughs> um, you never know what the background's gonna look like when it's kind of that situation. Like you see that blue, that was actually like just the wall of the sidewalk I was on. So it didn't really, like blue's not really in my color palette but you know you just have to make it work I did the same event except one day I was put at a different end of the sidewalk and you, I had a completely different color palette to work with which kind of fit a little bit better to my color scheme I mean it wasn't quite the colors I usually go for but it was fine I guess so you just never know. So here's an example of when I've been in a bar in the past. So with a bar, like you can't control the lighting or really your surroundings at all. So with a bar, I usually just kind of stick to my clothing racks and I don't bring a lot of decor because it's just too much to deal with. Another kind of colorful example. And then I had to throw this in here. So this isn't actually the booth, but some I've seen a lot of vendors bring a pop-up pod I guess where it's just like you can try on clothing inside like it's a little dressing room that you can just kind of throw up next to your booth so super cool I always have people that are like where can I try this on where can I try this on and sometimes you have a bathroom nearby that you can send them to other times you're kind of out of luck so it's a nice touch to have a little dressing room here we have an athletic wear slash swimwear brand and they also sell some fun accessories and I feel like we've seen a lot of like neutral toned booths in this video today and you know you can have color and it can still look great I love the shades of pink and the whites and everything still looks like super cohesive she's got a very pretty setup she's got a nice rug and a lot of great products to shop from so customers you know they don't have to feel like cramped in when they're shopping this booth because it's so open and spacious and they can kind of like you can have a lot of people in here and it just won't feel too crowded again there's so many ways you can display accessories so I love to see what each brand does and she's got a fantastic sign with a photo of someone wearing her products and then She's got two clothing racks, so overall, definitely a very pretty booth that I just love. 
So a couple of last minute tips and tricks based off what we've seen today. You want to pick a color palette and stick to it and make sure it kind of fits in with the type, like the color of the products you're selling. Because if you're, if you're selling a lot of bright colors, you don't want it to clash with your decor. Versus if you sell more neutral tones, then you can think about how to incorporate your products as well as your decor and make it look cohesive. You also might want to consider bringing a nice rug, a chair to sit on, because like I said, you're going to get tired standing on your feet if it's a long pop-up. Um, I like to have clothing racks that look nice in the space, so I hate, I always end up bringing my black clothing racks, and I hate how they look. I feel like when I used to run to U-Haul and bring my other clothing racks that are not foldable, it always looked better, but it's just a a lot more work to bring those clothing racks because they don't fold and fit in my car and you want to have a nice sign for your booth so your customers can easily see the name of your store and what else I mean you just want to think about what your budget is because like we've seen you can make an amazing space on a budget if you just kind of think through like what what you want to accomplish with your setup you know is it nice to be or does being minimal match your brand or are you more of a maximalist and you want to have a big backdrop and mannequins and all of this stuff all over the place I don't know we've seen a lot of examples today so you kind of get the gist of it I would imagine but yeah so just overall have fun with it and see what you can do to get creative and I wish you all the luck in the world. Let me know if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It helps me out. And I'll see you guys next time.